Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, hackers, welcome and thanks for watching. Okay, today I will show you how to recover transfer data of a fold Synology unit to other Synology same model unit. If you are a victim of the blinking blue light of death symptom, maybe you are a victim of the Intel Atom 2002. There was a problem on the clock system of the Intel Atom and the DS415 Plus unit was also affected. In my case, I had luck and Synology support gave me a replacement one because with the Intel problem, the warranty was extended. So don't feel fear for nothing. I was in the same situation like you. Are you interested? Come on, see me and let me explain you how to achieve this. Let's go! Prelude, what the problem was? One day, my Synology decided not to turn on anymore. I made a video showing this bad behavior, where it can see the blue light flashing all the time, with a turned off ending. Chapter 1. Use a template as your guide. I couldn't find an exact guide officially to transfer my data from a unit that isn't longer with me, so I decided to modify it to fit to my needs. Chapter 2. Install the temporary hard drive. Go to 3. Migrating between two identical Synology NAS models. 2. 4. Install the temporary hard drive in the target Synology NAS to upgrade to the maximum known OS level. The target is the only one. The quick start guide helped us a lot. Remove the front panel and the first hard disk slot. Pull out the earmuffs. Put the four screws. Insert the disk until here, click. Chapter 3. Upgrade the DSM. Go to 3.5, turn on the target Synology NAS and wait for it to boot up. Put the network and power cables. Turn on the Synology and wait until the status light flashes. Go to 3.6. We use the Synology Assistant. Instead of the web browser utility, we will use the Synology Assistant. Download and execute it. It will start searching automatically. Accept the agreement. A web browser is opened. Follow the wizard steps. Remember not insert a disk with important data. Upgrade in progress. Now continue with the wizard. These values won't be available after the migration. So you can put whatever thing here. Okay, it's now upgraded. Go to 3.11. When installation is complete, shut down Synology server. Wait for Synology server to shut down completely. Time to sleep again, so shut down it. Chapter 4. Remove the temporary hard drive. Go to 3.12. Remove the temporary hard drive from the target Synology NAS. Pull out the front cover. Push the upper tab and pull out the disk. 
Chapter 5. Install the hard drives. Go to 3.14. Install the hard drives in the target Synology NAS. Hard drives must be installed in the same order as they were installed in the source NAS. Localize it then. It's important inventory the disks and match it with number of the disk slot. Mount the brackets and repeat the process for each disk. Take the first disk, the one, and match with one of the NAS. Notice that the narrow must be at upper. Two with two. Three with three. And four with four. Place the front cover it. Chapter 6. The migration process. Go to 3.15, turn on the target Synology NAS and wait it to boot up. Log in to TSM and your data will be successfully migrated to the target Synology NAS now. Ok, turn it on. And wait until the status light flashes. Open Synology Assistant again for to look for it. You can notice the status is in migratable now. Of course, choose the migration, the fall option, and continue following the wizard. Keep calm and be patient. Migration completed. Congratulations! And remember, be good! Be hackers! <laughs>